air bubbles come right out. As a matter of fact, I'm going to have to do a little extra trimming down there because I didn't get it trimmed close enough to the mold. This is the really hard tab on this one. It likes to fold under. One thing I did on the other half already that I haven't done on this half is I put a 50,000 strand carbon fiber toe stringer under the saddle all the way back to the stab. Adds a whole lot of stiffness to the fuselage. <clears throat> So I'm going to have to remember to do that. I want to get these tabs wet so that they can be softening up and getting ready for the join. As a matter of fact, I'm going to wait to put that, that stringer stiffener in until after I've got the um, tab wet on the other half. I don't want to forget that 50k carbon fiber. I'm going to lay it right here. I'd already wetted out part of the tab on this one because the back. back so narrow that you need that tab as pliable as it can be. Up here on the doubler you especially have to go to the back side of the tab to get it wet. That was an issue on the front of the other one I didn't mention. It's real important to get the outside of the tab wet because that's the part that's going up against the wet inside of the other half. Double check this part of the tab and get it straight up. Get those bubbles worked out. I'll still get some minor bubbles but it's what filler's for. <clears throat> Wet lap seams are extremely strong because Each half becomes part of the other half. And while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and put the glue on the tail. This half will be laying down when I join it. So I'm going to go ahead and put my glue around the border of the fin and rudder. And the skid goes in here. So we'll build up a little area there. Put the skid right in. The mold's notch for the skid. I got a little bit too much glue, it might get in the way of the uh, tail linkage, so I'm going to move some of that out of the way. This half's looking pretty good. I'll do one final check of it before I close it up. We're going to put in this 50. K toe. You really have to check and make sure that you got the air bubbles out at this point. Once you close up that mold, it's really hard to see inside. Matter of fact, I try to work the seam as little as possible. Because 
more you work the seam, it seems like the more bubbles you pull in. So I've got the tabs ready. And then glue around the tail. And I just ran a little short. So real quick, I'm going to load the syringe up with a little more. Here's the uh, skid area, so I'm putting a little extra there. I trimmed it a little too tight right here on the claw, so making sure I have plenty of glue there. Still didn't get the glue thick enough. You have to develop recipes for your filler. And I switched to microfibers. Normally I use Cavacil. Plus, I was doing this with 209 hardener. Normally, I use 206 hardener. And I was using 209 hardener. And uh, I need to adjust my recipe a little bit for uh, for the different hardeners and fillers. Okay, this side looks good. This is very much a failed thing. It drilled, Ed Smith made the molds. He drilled for uh, rivets for alignment, which are kind of convenient when you're first doing this step. Okay, I have to redo this. This area back here was folded over. <laughs> 